Hey, how's it going? My name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing an updated room and bookshelf tour. Because if you didn't know, if you weren't aware, I actually recently moved and I have completely, you know, repainted and redecorated my old bedroom. And even though I do still have the same two wooden bookshelves that you're used to seeing in here, I have kind of like rearranged them in a way. I've reorganized them and I have completely redecorated the room as you can tell by this new paint color. Um, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that this room actually used to be blue back when I used to live in this house back in 2018. So if you've been around for a while, you might recognize this room, but it looks totally different. And so I wanted to give you an updated, you know, room and bookshelf tour. But before we do jump into the video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest Invest in yourself and your personal growth. I think Skillshare is the perfect place whether you're trying to learn a new skill or whether you're trying to, you know, hone in and master the skills that you already have. I think that Skillshare is a great place for, you know, entrepreneurs or freelancers who are trying to learn more skills to help better themselves for their projects. But Skillshare is also just really great to anybody that's trying to learn a new skill, maybe learning a new hobby. Something that's great about Skillshare is the fact that they are ad free so that you can stay focused and stay in the zone when you're trying to explore new skills. And they have new premium classes that get launched every single week so that there's always something new to learn. I recently just started taking this class called Holistic Interior Design, Transform Your Personal Space for Well-Being, and it's taught by Clear Studios. And this class has been very interesting and informative because I've always loved interior design, but I've always personally kind of sucked at it. So I really like learning more about it and what goes into interior design and how to think of different ideas. It's just really fascinating. But of course, you know, if that class does not interest you, they do have so many other classes in creative topics like creative writing, drawing, illustration, marketing, logo design, like literally if you can think of it, it's probably there. Definitely be sure to check it out. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description or my code Gabby Reads will get a one month free trial of Skillshare's membership. Thank you so much once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get into the bookshelf tour, shall we? is what you see. So I figured we would start with this bookshelf over here. So on this high bookshelf, um, I was able to get this plant from Home Goods. I really wanted a plant that kind of like spills over the top like this. And I'm just kind of obsessed with how it looks on the wooden bookshelves. Um, if you are curious, these wooden bookshelves are from Target. I got them both from Target. This is a giant vinyl of folklore, if you are unfamiliar. Um, but let me just move this um, just so you can see. So this top shelf is, like most of this bookshelf is my book of the month bookshelf. Um, this top bookshelf, as you can see, is uh, some of my favorites from book of the month so far. I just tried to organize it so that all of my favorites get placed up here. This shelf, as you can see, it's still kind of like an organized mess, if you will, because I do have some, you know, color organization happening over here, but for the most part, it's all just kind of random. Like these are all just some of my favorite book of the month books. Same with the ones back here. Um, I like to double stack on these bookshelves just because there's usually enough space to do so. And so um, this back section over here is usually a lot of the thrillers for the most part. I like to put some of the more like colorful ones, you know, up in the front. Um, but yeah, that is the top shelf there. And then dropping down to the second shelf here, I have another cute little plant. I'm not totally sure where I got this one from. It might have been from Target. But this bookshelf is another one of my book of the month shelves for the most part. Um, these are all books that I have read and enjoyed enough to keep from book of the month. Some of them aren't book of the month copies. Like I do have a few random ones in here that aren't, um, but for the most part, all of these are book of the month copies. And these are all books that I have read. So these are just um, books that aren't like my top tier favorites. Like my top tier favorites go up here, 
but then these are ones that I still, you know, really enjoyed and wanted to keep on my shelves. And then behind here, I do have some that aren't um, Book of the Month selections, like I have Night Film back here, and then uh, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama's um, books, which I've both read that are both back here as well. But um, yeah, besides that, I just like to keep the more um, colorful spines up in the front because it just makes me happier to look at. So that's the only reason why um, some of these other ones get tucked back here. And then when you drop down to this bookshelf, um, I do have my uh, Decala lamp on the shelf, which I really love this Decala lamp. You know, you can press it and like change colors. It's just amazing and I love having it on my bookshelves because it makes it feel, I don't know, like cozy, I guess. This shelf consists of all of the Book of the Month books that I still need to read. I'll just move that lamp out of the way there for a second so you can see better, but these are all of the Book of the Month books that I still have on my TBR. There's no real organization to this. I mean, the ones right here in the front are the ones that I'm hoping to get to sooner rather than later. So these are like my top priority basically out of all the Book of the Month books that I have. Um, and then these will probably come second back here. Like these are some of the ones that have been on my TBR for a really long time. Like Circe down here, like some of these have been on my TBR for quite some time. So those are some books that I'm also hoping to get to. And then back Back here, I just have, again, you know, a ton of books that are still on my TBR from Book of the Month. I try to do more of like a color organization here. I mean, clearly it's not perfect, but you know, it works. And uh, these are all books that I am hoping to get to eventually. I just have to find the time to fit them into my TBR. But these ones here that are in the front are the ones that I am most eager to get to or the ones that I have plans to read this year. Um, and then you drop down to this next shelf. And this one is probably the most, one of the most random shelves that I have, to be honest. Um, I just have this giant Evermore, um, you know, vinyl sitting here. This Evermore vinyl is so stunning. Like, it's definitely my favorite vinyl that I own. It's just beautiful. These stacks of books over here are so random. Like, these ones in the front are all of my book troop picks so far for the year. So I kind of just like to have them, uh, you know, stacked in the front somewhere that I can see them. So back here in this stack, this is a ton of books that are still on my TBR. Um, these books are mostly classics for the most part. I mean, we do have a lot of classics in this stack, like 1984. Um, the Great Gatsby, Withering Heights, Jane Eyre, and then I don't know if people would consider American Psycho and Fight Club classics, but they're kind of, you know, maybe modern classics, and same with uh, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. Just a bunch of books that I'm hoping to get to eventually. Um, this little one on the top actually isn't a book, it's this cute little, like, compartment thing that I don't even know what I would put in here but I just think it's so cute so I just set it on top there for the aesthetics you know but then these books over here uh these are just kind of some random books that are on my TBR that are like bigger thicker books um I have tried to read Dune and I DNF'd it last year but this is one that I would eventually like to circle back to maybe when I'm a little bit older and I just love this copy of Dune so much like it's stunning so I'm never getting rid of it and then uh House of Leaves is one that I would like to get to at some point this year I still have I haven't read Pieces of Her, which is the Karen Slaughter that just got turned into a Netflix show, um, but I would like to read it and watch the show at some point. Um, and then the Mindfuck series I actually have read. I just wasn't sure where I wanted to put it on my bookshelves, so for now it's here. I don't know if it's going to stay there though. But yeah, that is that bookshelf. And then dropping down to this last bookshelf, this has got to be the most random bookshelf you've ever seen in your life. Like, there's really no... <laughs> no organization or no reason for this bookshelf to exist the way it does. I just kind of put books here that didn't fit anywhere else, so I'm sorry. It looks like a mess because it is a mess. I have a mix here of books that I have read and books that I haven't read. They're all just like mixed in here together and it just looks like chaos. So apologies in advance, but some of these books like are some of my favorites, like The Butterfly Project. It's just like these spines don't really inspire me and don't really do anything for me so that's mainly the reason why they're down here i guess so yeah that is the full first bookshelf in its entirety i also have my guitar just to the left right there which my guitar is my child i love my guitar and so i'm happy to have it in my room again then going to the right over here um i have this 
you know, this little dresser that uh, my mom is letting me use for the time. I think I actually did used to have this one in my room, but I left it here after I moved because I didn't really need a dresser. But now it's so nice to have, uh, you know, this extra space. And this TV, it's actually not my TV. It's my sister's TV from her old room, but she's letting me use it in this room because she is using our old dining room TV in her room right now. So it's been really nice to have a TV in my room again. I can actually like watch shows and stuff. I've been watching a lot of K-dramas on this TV, which is fantastic. And then, uh, yeah, I have this, um, you know, Ivy leaves situation happening here. I wasn't really sure where I wanted to put these leaves in my room, to be honest, but I kind of do like how they look behind the TV. It just makes it feel all, you know, nice and cozy. And I love the way that these green leaves look against the like sage green wall. I just think it looks really lovely and just really like peaceful in here. So yeah, I'm kind of in love with this setup. All right, and then moving to the right, we have the second bookshelf. And this bookshelf is mostly all books that I have read. So I have reorganized this bookshelf recently because if you recall, I used to have this organized by Rainbow and that is no longer the case because I am a changed human. At least for now. I mean, we'll see if this lasts. I might end up changing my mind and not liking this as much, but for now, I kind of do like how it looks. All right, so coming up to this top bookshelf here, this is my thriller bookshelf. I've organized everything by genre now, which is just so crazy, you know, so wild. I've always organized everything by rainbow, but now I'm gonna try this out for a little while and see how I like it. But yeah, um, for now, these are all of the thriller books that I have read and I have enjoyed enough to keep them. Um, it doesn't seem like a lot because, you know, thriller is one of my most read genres. So you're probably like, why do you only have so few of them? But to be honest, a lot of the thrillers that I read come from book of the month. And so that's why a lot of the, you know, thrillers that I enjoy end up being book of the month copies. So they end up on this shelf, but everything else that I have read and enjoyed has ended up on this shelf. So yeah, I, I do kind of like how this looks right now. I try to put most of the, uh, you know, black or gray or like darker spines over here and then kind of try to mix in some of the colors over here. But it was kind of hard to do with the paperbacks, to be honest. And so I put them you know, kind of behind this globe here. And this globe is one of my favorite things ever. It was actually a gift from uh, Rachel's boyfriend before they dated. We had Secret Santa at our work and he got me this globe and it's still one of my favorite things ever. And then I also have, you know, my birthday candle here, January 18th, what's up? And then we'll drop down to the next bookshelf here. And uh, I just wanted to show you too, I have these cute little Polaroids. On the side here, this one's of me and Phoenix. This was actually during the book two with on, I think in like 2017 or 2018. And this is when this room was painted blue. So this was taken in this room. And then uh, down here I have my dad's 60th birthday with him and Phoenix, like all just so cute. Um, but anyways, this is the next bookshelf. And this one's probably gotta be one of my favorite shelves out of all of the shelves because this is my horror bookshelf and then also over here we've got some sci-fi ish stuff i've got this little plant up front here that i just think is so freaking cute not totally sure where i got it and then i have this little calendar that i think rachel actually got me for my birthday last year it is a 2021 calendar but like i don't even care i'm still using it because it's so cute but yeah this is my horror bookshelf and i'm so excited that i finally like have enough horror books to actually make a bookshelf because like if you didn't know i'm actually pretty new to horror still i've only been reading horror pretty intensely for the last like two years or so. So it's kind of nice to actually have enough horror books that I've enjoyed that I can put an entire bookshelf together full of all the horror books. So I, I really do love how this looks. I just think it looks so cool. Um, I try to put, you know, obviously most of the uh, black spines once again all together on this shelf here with some of the more lighter titles up top. But yeah, I don't know. I really like how this shelf looks. I think it looks really fun, really cool. And then I also have this beautiful sand and fog um, white flowers candle. This is one that I got at Home Goods. I like to get a lot of candles from Home Goods. And then over here is going to be, uh, you know, the sci-fi-ish area. As I said, um, these are just kind of books that don't, you know, fit anywhere else because they have sci-fi vibes. So not all of them are like hardcore sci-fi. I think the only like really heavy sci-fi is... The Martian and Ready Player One and then Sleeping Giants and then the Scythe series is pretty heavy sci-fi but the one can also be considered you know it's like a thriller 
Um, we have The Humans, which is more like contemporary, but it is sci-fi vibes because of the aliens. And then I have uh, Vicious and Vengeful down here and Station Eleven. So yeah, this area is kind of random, but I also kind of love it, you know? Like I love the sci-fi vibes over here. In this little uh, container thing, I just have a bunch of highlighters. To be honest, I don't really use these highlighters super often, but I just put them all in here. I also have um, this little, you know, EU David bookmark thing going on over here because it's so cute and then i do have the um asexual flag i am asexual if you didn't know and um somebody sent me this and it was just so freaking cute so i wanted to put it on my bookshelves so all right the next bookshelf we're dropping down i have this uh you know dangly orange light that just kind of like hangs over most of the rest of the bookshelf um that i really love i actually got it for halloween last year and it's still thriving so like i love that that's cool yeah anyways as you can see i currently have this giant um bts time magazine on display because you know it makes me really happy to stare at this and also it just matches the aesthetic of this bookshelf right now like i'm just living for it i'm just here for it and i'm just really enjoying bts right now so, so yeah this whole magazine i read it the other night it's amazing it's fantastic and i just wanted it to be like here you know this counts as a book right yeah i've finally decided to dedicate this entire shelf to romance books so these are all of the romance books that i have read and these are all of the romance books um that i've enjoyed enough to keep on this bookshelf i don't know if i love the way that this is organized right now but it just kind of like works you know it just kind of looks cute i love the colors i've always wanted to put all my romance books together because i thought the colors of this bookshelf would just look so stunning and it really does like i love all of the colors of these romance books like i love having a blue area and then like pink and purple and yellow i just think it looks really like nice you know like i'm always a huge fan of the rainbow organization i'm just obsessed with this like i really love how the shelf looks i also have this um little new york candle here that i got for my birthday that i just think is so cute and then i also um recently got this from home goods it's like this really cute light bulb that has a little plant in there and then it also lights up like i don't even know if you can tell but it's like lit up right now and it's just so cute to have you know like at night all right and then dropping down the shelf i feel like also has you know a lot going on at the moment um it has this really cute little plant which i'm also not totally sure where i got this one i think it might be from target but the shelf is pretty much for the most part it's like my young adult shelf whether that's like young adult contemporary there's like a mix of everything in here that i've enjoyed that's young adult and then over here on the right I have a bunch of books that are kind of like literary fiction, historical fiction, kind of like adult contemporary graphic novels, like pretty much anything that didn't really fit into any of the other areas. So yeah, these are some of my favorite young adult books over here. I kind of love the color organization. I was trying to do more of the, like, you know, the more like purples, greens, blues over here and then some of the more you know like pinks orange like lighter colors over here and i think it turned out nice i'm not like in love with the way that these paperbacks look on top of these like i don't really know what i'm gonna change about this but i might change a few things but yeah these are some of my favorite young adult books i mean the standouts are for sure fangirl i have two copies of fangirl and then i have you know we are the ants i have aristotle and dante and then loveless of course like there's so many great books over in this area and then over here to the right um yeah as i said there's quite a mix of things like you know historical fiction we have like kind of a literary fiction we have three graphic novels over here that i really enjoyed and then uh you know some contemporary fiction here historical fiction literary fiction and then little women the classic and perks of being a wallflower so it's just kind of a random time over there but i don't mind it you know i kind of like how it looks in a stack like that to be honest and I also have these kind of like hanging off the bookshelf like this. Like, I don't know how I feel about that situation right now, but there's currently not enough room <laughs> to like fit everything the way I want it to be. So it's just kind of like that right now. All right, and then dropping down to this last bookshelf. Um, This bookshelf is a little bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a little messy, but the idea is, you know, that these books right here, this stack is kind of like the books that I'm currently reading within the month so i'm currently filming this at the end of april and so this is like the stack of books that i've read so far this month so that's kind of like my thinking with that you know like to have my 
wrap-up books that are just kind of like sitting there. Um, and then the rest of all of the books back here are all books that are on my TBR that are like high priority. So like some of these books that are right in the front are books that I've very recently bought or have very recently been sent. So like some of these books like Shiver is one that I just recently bought and then same with like You've Reached Sam and Lease on Love. Like these are all books that I've recently bought and then the rest are all books that I've recently been sent that I would very much like to read soon so that's why they're in the front. And then everything else back here is all you know books that I need to read immediately that I am very excited to read. Um, they're all just like you know books on my TBR like we do have some back here like the Children on the Hill is an upcoming book troop pick for June, and then I do have The Haunting of Ashburn House, which is going to be a book troop pick for May, um, and then I do have some arcs back here that I'm just like so freaking dying to read, like things we do in the dark. Like there's some really good stuff in here. I have a lot of my new like Anaya Alborn books over here too that I'm hoping to read. I'm very excited to get to all of these books eventually. All right, so this is that bookshelf in its entirety. This is probably my favorite bookshelf in my room. Like if I had to pick one of the two, you know, at this point, um, this bookshelf is just more pleasing to me right now. I really like the changes that I made with organizing things by genre. I don't know. I think it's kind of a cool change just because I've literally had it organized by rainbow for so long now that it's kind of refreshing to just do something different, you know, and have it organized by genre. So I'm really happy with this. So on the other side of the room from the bookshelves, we have my bed. And I actually recently just got a new comforter. If you didn't know, I used to have like a dark navy blue comforter, but it just didn't really work with this paint color with like the green. I just kind of wanted something lighter to, you know, make it feel a little bit more cozy in here. So I actually ended up going to at home the other day, this store, and I got this new white comforter. And I really love how it looks in here. I love this white comforter. It's so nice. It's like one of those waffle ones that just feels like really cozy. And then I also ended up getting these two new pillows and I decided to go with this like coral kind of color. Like Rachel actually helped me with the color design because you know, as I said, I'm not that good with like interior design and knowing like what colors go together and stuff. And I was like, what color would look good with like this sage green? And she was like, oh yeah, this like mauve, you know, coral kind of color. She said it would look really good. And I'm really happy with this decision that I made of getting these two pillows. I just think it looks really nice in here and like really cozy. Recently got the chance to update my dream board because um, for a while there, I was just like putting like random, like honestly like random things, like anything would go on my dream board. But I actually took the time the other night to reorganize it and I still have, you know, like my Taylor Swift CD covers are up there, you know, like my Lover, Folklore, and Red Taylor's version are all up there. And then I do have a bunch of like 1989 Polaroids just kind of like scattered all over it like I did before. And then I also did add some photos of V from BTS, who is my bias because the lovely Jasmine, um, she sent me this amazing bias pack that just had like so many cute little like Polaroids of him and pictures of him. And so I just ended up putting some of those on this board just because I thought it would be so freaking cute and I love the way that it turned out. I also have some like wine cards on here from Bright Sellers and like just like random photo strips of friends from like our holiday parties. I'm still not totally sure how I feel about how high the dream board is on the wall. Like I don't know if it looks too awkwardly high on the wall so I might try to bring it down a little bit but for now I'm just like really happy with how it looks in the room I just think it looks so good all right and then the last little area that I wanted to show you over here is the area you know directly next to my bed and on this nightstand I have this amazing woodwick candle if you've heard it at all throughout this video then I apologize but I love the sound of this woodwick candle it is just magical and this is the uh fig and magnolia i got this one from home goods and like yeah i'm just a huge fan of the woodwick candles i think they smell and sound amazing and then here i have this little um plate that i've been putting uh, a lot of my rings on and then i also do have another one of the decala lamps over here i really love having this lamp it's like connected to my phone so i can like change the color and change the vibe you know and yeah and then over here I have this little like carousel thing that has like my pens in it, scissors, some bookmarks. As you can see, the bookmarks area is just getting out of control with like all the different kinds of bookmarks that I have. But I really do love having this thing. I think I might end up painting this actually because I feel like it kind of bothers me that this is just slightly a different color from the wall and it doesn't really match. And so I'm thinking I might 
end up painting this thing either like white but I am thinking of painting this so if you think of any colors that would be cool to paint it then let me know and then uh over here I have some books that are like next up on my TBR so I've just been kind of keeping a little stack of books here that I would like to get to next so I mean by the time you're seeing this hopefully I will have already gotten to some of these for Spring Flingoween, but these are all of the books that are like absolutely dying to read next on my TBR. So I just kind of like keep them in this cute little stack right next to my bed so I have easy access to reach for them at night if I need to. And then I also have this cute little uh, plant. I also got this one from Home Goods, and um, this one really just caught my eye because I love this rainbow that's painted on here. Like, isn't this just the cutest thing? And so, um, I don't know, the rainbow's on both sides too, so like I can do either side. And I just think it's like one of the cutest little plants that I've ever seen, so I just wanted to get it and I just set it on top of the books there just because I think it looks really adorable. Yeah, that is that little area. It's a nice and cozy little spot, you know. I'm really digging this area of the room. So yeah, that is it. That is the bookshelf and room tour. I'm very excited with how this room has turned out. It just feels so nice and so cozy in here. You'll have to let me know what you think of the bookshelves and what you think of how they're decorated. And also you'll have to let me know if you like how it's separated by genre now instead of rainbow. I mean, I know it still looks kind of rainbow because like I just love organizing things with rainbow, but you'll have to let me know what you think of the new room, what you think of how it looks in here. And please let me know if you think if I should lower that dream board, I'm so undecided on if I like how high it is off the bed. Like, let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm just really excited. I really love this like new cozy space. You know, it just feels really nice in here. I think the sage green really calms it down in here, you know, because I really loved the color of blue that I had it before, but it also just felt like a little intense, you know, <laughs> like it was a little too like high energy. And I'd love to know your thoughts. Which bookshelf is your favorite? Which little area is your favorite? Thank you so much for watching as always. And I will see you next time with another video. Bye.